Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. So we are taking a look at some of the examples where we have to create new derived parameters. So in this video, we will see the creation of a new parameter to handle a function of more than one parameter. So earlier we have seen a case for similar uh, scenario where new parameter has to handle a function of more than parameter in terms of BMI in vital signs. Now in this video we will see the creation of HDL by LDL ratio in lab data. So let us go to the description. So as part of the lab data LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol results are collected over different time points. So LDL is collected over different time point and HDL is collected over different time points. So for analysis purposes, let us assume that we need to summarize the changes in the ratio of HDL to LDL over time. So we'll have to at each time point, we'll, we'll have to take the ratio between HDL and LDL and then analyze the changes on how it is changing over time. So HDL divided by LDL has to be done. So as per Adam standard, when analysis result required is a function of two or more parameters. So for us, the analysis result required is the ratio of HDL to LDL. So as per Adam standard, if it requires, if it is a function of two or more parameters, then new set of rows have to be created with a new parameter name. So we will create a new parameter named HDL LDL ratio to meet analysis requirements. So here we will be creating this additional set of rows with new parameter named LDL HDL ratio using the collected HDL and LDL rows. So let us now move to the specification. So here we have been given the derivation logic for ADT param, param cd and eval variables. So and the, as we have some derived parameters, so the definition is split across all the cases wherein uh, it is for source parameters and derived parameters as well. So for the source parameters, which is in this example, we have LDL and HDL. So for those parameters, we are being asked to extract the date portion from LBDTC and convert it to numeric value. And for the derived parameters, retain it from the corresponding source records. So when we are creating the LDL HDL ratio, we'll have to check whether they are, uh, we'll have to use the LDL and HDL from that subject and visit time point related variables. So we'll be able to retain the date from these individual LDL HDL rows, and then we'll be using that date value to create ADT on the derived parameter, which is our HDL LDL ratio. So for the and for param for source parameters we are being asked to set the uh, use the LB test value and concatenate the result in LB STRES uh, result unit uh, which is present in LB STRESU within parenthesis here. So LB test concatenated with the unit value in parenthesis and then for we are being asked to create a new derived parameter called HDL LDL ratio with the units of ratio using the source parameters, which is HDL cholesterol millimole per liter and LDL cholesterol millimole per liter. So these are the two source parameters for creating the new derived parameter HDL LDL ratio. So we are being asked to create this new parameter. And then for param CD, for the source parameters, we are being asked to copy the value from LB test CD to the param CD variable. And for the derived parameter HDL LDL ratio, we are being asked to set to the value of HDL LDL. And then for eval, for source parameters, we are being asked to set the value of from LB STRES into eval. And for the derived parameter HDL LDL ratio, we are being given the instructions on how to process HDL and LDL results to create a well for HDL LDL ratio. So transpose the data such that LDL and HDL values at a time point are present as columns, say LDL and HDL. So whereas LDL represents the result value for uh, LDL and HDL represents the result of HDL cholesterol. So we will need to apply a formula on these two things so so that we need to have it as rows uh, as columns at a particular time point and then create eval as hdl divided by ldl 
and then round the resulting value to two decimals. So let us now see how we can implement this programmatically. So we will be using our LB dataset as exam uh, as input for this scenario. So we have HDL collected and LDL collected over different time points like screening, day one, week four, week eight, etc. and so on. And the same case with LDL. So we will be able to collect HD, uh, derive HDL LDL ratio for each collection. So at screening, visit 1.1 on date of 12th August 2015. So we'll be able to calculate our HDL LDL ratio. So let me quickly filter for that time point. So we have HDL collected and LDL collected at screening visit on this particular date. So we'll have a record for this particular time point for HDL LDL ratio. So let me remove all of them. So now I am creating a copy of LB, a temporary copy of LB as LB01. Similarly, I am creating a copy of DM dataset as DM01, but will not be using DM01 uh, in this uh, steps of creation. And now I am using my LB01 dataset as input and then creating a new dataset called LB02. So basically, LB01 has the records for our source parameters. So we are creating derived variables for source parameter records. So for source parameters records of param CD, we were asked to simply copy the value from LB test CD variable. So we are handling that in an assignment statement here. And then for param, we were asked to concatenate the values present in LB test and the units within parentheses. So we are handling that using concatenation operator. And then for uh, ADT variable, we were asked to extract the date component from our LBDTC and convert it to numeric value. So here what we are doing here is input of LBS. Uh, we are extracting the date portion from it and then converting into numeric format using input function and YY MMDD 10 dot in format. And then we are applying uh, and then we are creating a val variable as these are the source records. So for these records, we were simply asked to copy the value from LBSTRESN for eval variable. And then for date variable ADT, which is newly created, we are assigning a format of date nine. And then in the next step, what are we doing here? We are creating our new parameter HDL LDL. So subset the input parameters HDL and LDL. So as in as part of LB, I have kept only LDL and HDL record, but in your, in your regular LB data set, you will have 15, 20 other parameters as well. For the sake of simplicity of demonstration of this specific parameter, I have subsetted only those. So I am filtering HDL LDL parameters and then sorting them based on subject ID, date, visit num and visit. And then I am outputting into a data set called ratio 01. So let us, before that, let's take a quick look at LB02 data set to see how our derived variables of source parameters are looking like. So for param CD, it was simply a copy of LB test CD. So we have it as the same as in LB test CD. For param, so we were asked to concatenate the unit in parentheses to the value present in VS, LB test uh, variable. So we are concatenating that the unit is millimole per liter here and we have HDL cholesterol coming from LB test. So we have concatenated that and then for ADT. So we were asked to extract only the date component from this and create our uh, ADT variable. So we are extracting this 12th August 2015 from this entire date time value and then creating our ADT for eval. So it was simply a copy of our VSS, LBSTRESN. So we are creating a val for this. And then we are jumping into creation of HDL LDL. So as part of that step, we have created ratio 0, 01 to subset only those parameters. So, and then we have sorted that based on use of JD, ADT, visit num and visit. And then in the next step, so in order to bring LDL and HDL side by side. So what I'm doing here is transposing the LDL HDL results. So I'm using ratio 01 as input and creating a new data set called ratio 02. I am using subject ID, ADT, visit num and visit as by variable. So at the particular time point. So, and then 
I am specifying the value of variable param cd on the ID, ID statement, which means the values present in param cd variable will become the names of the newly created variables. The values present in variable param cd for us now is LDL and HDL. So for the newly created columns for the transposed values of eval, the columns would be named as LDL and HDL. So we will now quickly see the ratio to data set to understand how this has been processed. So first now each subject and date and visit num and visit. Now I have HDL and LDL side by side so that I can simply calculate the ratio of these two HDL divided by LDL. So this transformation is important for us. So we have achieved or got HDL and LDL side by side by using transpose step here. So Note one thing that I think here we have time points also uh, collected as part of LBDTC. So in an ideal case, so if it is not an example, so you would create your ATM variable and ADTM variable also to store the uh, time and date time values and add them to the by variables here. So let's assume that we'll progress that way. So we assume that all the time point variables have to be kept in the by variable list. And then let us see how this ratio 2 is used in the next step. So here ratio 3 is being created and if HDL not is equal to missing and LDL not is equal to missing then do HDL divided by LDL. This gives us the required ratio of HDL to LDL. And then we were asked to round the value to two decimals. So we are applying that. We are rounding it using the round function of SAS in order to round it to two decimals as for the second argument we need to specify it as 0 0.01 so we are applying all the transformations required on the variables and then storing it in eval variable now this is nothing but these are the our records for our HDL LDL ratio and the newly created eval is nothing but our LDL HDL ratio as these records are of HDL LDL ratio we are assigning the param CD of HDL LDL and then for uh, HDL LDL and for param we are assigning the text HDL LDL ratio with a unit of ratio and then for param type we are assigning it as derived to indicate that this parameter is derived note that in some of the recent Adam implementation guides this variable param type is deprecated which means it is no longer applicable So ratio 0, 03 is created. Now let us take a look at our ratio 0, 03 data set. Now we have eval param type param param cd assigned for our derived parameter HDL LDL. So now all we need to do is append our HDL LDL ratio to the source parameter records. LB02 has our derived variables created for source parameters. Now we just simply append these two data set and sort by uh, use of JD, param cd and ADT and then finally I am creating a data set named output by keeping only the required analysis variables. So let us take a look at the output data set here. So here if we see HDL is present, LDL is present and HDL LDL ratio is present. So ideally if we are creating a param and we may give a number greater than the number which is used for LDL and HDL so that this record would appear at the end but that does not cause us any issues so here let us take a quick look at the case so how many records do we have for HDL for subject 1001 we have six records for HDL and then six records for LDL which means for all time points both HDL and LDL are collected so which means and if on none of these records either of HDL or LDL is missing so which means both the components of HDL LDL are present so ideally we should have the same number of records for HDL LDL so six records max and six records max and all are eligible records so we will have six records for HDL LDL. So 6 plus 6 12. So overall we have 18 which means we have 6 records for HDL LDL as well. So this is how you can create a new parameter when it is a function of more than two parameters. So we have seen two examples so far in this video series. One is BMI which involves which is a function of 
height and weight and HDL LDL ratio which is a function of HDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. Thank you for watching and keep learning.